Microsoft Dynamics CRM tutorial and review. Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you Microsoft Dynamics, the CRM platform of Microdynamics and how you can use it. And is it any good to use Microsoft Dynamics or not? So let's get into the video. So first of all, I have Microsoft Dynamics 365 open for me. So this is a platform that is created by Microsoft, which allows you to drive more efficiently and it reduces costs and create a hyper-connected business that links people data and processes across your organization so basically it has a lot of features and it has all the solutions to every problem that your business might encounter so it is it enables every team to quickly adapt and innovate so on not only crm uh, microsoft dynamics allows you a lot of things like it has sales and marketing it has services it has finance it has commerce and it also has a supply chain so depending upon the type of need that you have it basically pro provides you that service and it basically provides all kind of services for the whole business so when you look at the products of microsoft dynamics from this option right here here you can see that they have customer data platform customer insights customer voice they have supply chain management guides intelligent order management they have sales microsoft relationship sales they have small and medium businesses business central and customer service then they have service which also has a customer service field service and remote assist human resources finance marketing commerce fraud protection and project operations so these are all the things that uh, microsoft dynamics entails so how we are going to get the crm so i'm just going into the customer service from the service part and I'm going into the crm but before that let me show you the solutions you can also get the solutions by need and by industry as well then you have pricing which will we take a look at at the end of the video then we have a partners who is a partner then you have the whole platform common data model dataverse and resources why is dynamic 365 guide to tour customer stories project updates etc then you have support documentation technical support and fast track and then you have community so let's go on to microsoft crm and let me show you guys how it's gonna work okay so how it is going to work for you and what it is like customer service or crm of microsoft dynamics so it makes agents work effortless then you have meet customers where they are and forrester has also basically given good words about customer uh, service by dynamics so i'm just going to click on this option which says try for free and i'm going to create my account to try the platform form for free i'm just going to add in my email and other details and then i'll get back to you guys okay so here you can see guys this is the main dashboard when you log in into dynamics 365 so i have home right here and then i have inbox and in here i'm going to get a lot of other options like you have trial home you have customer service historical analytics you have knowledge search analytics you have omnichannel historical analytics you have dashboards cases queues activities contacts accounts knowledge articles personalization you have knowledge search and all other things so how you can get started with uh dynamic 365 it's very simple they have given all the steps right here like when you basically log in you have a trial home then you have customer service agent dashboard and then you have omnichannel going ongoing conversations dashboard so this is their trial home and here you have three options you can engage your customers you can empower your agents and you can also monitor and improve the operations so you have options here as well you can take a tour to explore the voice and you can take a tour to explore the chat i'm just going to go on and click on this option which says uh, engage customers and here you can see that i have more resources explore field service i can see what's coming in re next release areas read the customer service documentation etc etc so come here which says customer service agent dashboard so here you can see that now you can have a case title a case number priority so these are all the cases that you should be working on that you can have customer service agent dashboard which uh, your agents will be working on for customer service betterment and to resolve the problems of your customers so how you can add a new case by clicking on this option click on add a new case and here you can see that quick create is equal to case now first of all you have to add a customer i don't have any records right now so then, like it's empty so i can just click on this option which says add a new record and i can see that select a record type to create i want to add an account or contacts let's say i want to add a contact okay so the job title first of all i have to add a name last name job title account name then i have contact information email phone number business phone description and then i have to add the address city etc of the contact that i want to add so i'm just going to wait for a couple of seconds until i do all of these and then i'll get back to you guys 
okay so here you can see that now i have added the customer now i have to add the case title then subject and case type case status priority and assigned to others in parent case so and the description so all of these are optional steps other than this assigned to others case title and customer so these are all the things that you have to must fill necessarily and the all other are optional so you have to go on and choose and um, basically fill all of these in to continue by creating your quick case Okay, so now I've added a case title and the subject is auto drip. You are going to get a couple of options for the subject as well. You can choose the one from then. And then there's a case type. Is it a problem or is it a question or a request? You can go on and choose that. Then there's a case status. It is in progress or it is on hold waiting for details or researching. Let's say it's on hold. Then you have a priority. Is it a normal priority or high priority? Then you have to assign it to others. So I have assigned it to myself right now. But when you have more people, you can assign it to the one that is basically going to help you. You know created or the person who is going to uh, eradicate the whole problem so then there's a parent case now which parent case is it related to then you have to select that it is the one that's in the list and it's related to that so i'm just going to go with that then you can add the description after you're done with adding the description you can just click on this option which says save and close or you can uh, click on save and create new this case and it will create a new window to create a new case so i'm just going to click on save okay so here you can see that now my case is on the list a task is stuck in this is the case number that the board has assigned to it the priority is high origin is unknown the customer is clark james and status reason is on hold and it is was created on this date so this is how basically you can create a case on dynamics 365 it is very easy and you can basically go on and work on all of these cases independently one by one or there are, you can assign different people to work on them and you can basically take a look on what's happening and if they are working or not then you have the omni channel ongoing conversation board it is going to have all the conversations that are ongoing on the dashboard like if they are talking to if your uh, you know customer service or if your customer representative is talking to different customers about their problems and if there's a, a conversation going on it is going everything is going to appear right here so you can take a look at uh, how they're talking or what's going on or uh, if you have to basically filter out something if you think that you have to keep an eye on all of the customer representatives that you have so you can basically keep a check right here so uh, my conversations right now are empty because i don't have any a person who is talking to any customer but you will have data available here if you got this dynamics 365 customer service working so i have default group voicemail queue i have default individual voicemail queue default entity queue i have demo chat fallback queue etc so there are a lot of things that i can filter out and they're going to appear here in just a minute of second right here you have all of your customers you can basically sort them out depending upon your own uh, you know choice then you have the subjects you can sort them out as well then you have the queue channel status reason customer service and you can filter out by these as well so you can copy the url you can monitor all of their activities right here so these are all three basic things that you can use on dynamics 365 they also have an inbox and you uh, the all the notifications that are going to be in your own inbox so you can go on open that and you can see what's happening and what's going on so this is a very easy thing like here you can see that this is the main case that i have right now these are all the cases that i'm gonna have right here and this is the smart assist you can see knowledge articles uh, article suggestions and similar case suggestions you're going to get both of these when you will have a lot of cases in here you can save save and close and save a route to all of these cases and you can solve them in this option right here so you can basically drag down and you can see all of the basically replies on this case and what is uh, all the conversations that have happened on this case and how we can basically solve it so this is how you can use dynamics 365 it is a very good customer service uh, platform where you can basically work for your own customers good and when they are happy your business will thrive so this was it for today's video guys i hope you found it helpful please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to software it's made easy thank you